All right, well, uh, the, it's supposed to freeze tonight. It's been cold and rainy for uh, about a week or so now. And uh, there's just there's been a lot of things going on, and I'm not sure when I'll be able to get out and start, start catching fish again. I mean, I can go fishing anytime I want, but whether or not I actually catch something is is a different story altogether but uh, uh, I've been working on a handful of uh, big videos uh, most of them I think I've published already but uh, I've got one more for sure that we're we're waiting for for one more thing to do on it and that's it's gonna be uh, probably my biggest video ever uh, yeah it's just been not a rough couple of weeks but busy very busy and uh, I haven't been able to come up with any content that I can post lately, and I don't know when I'll get another chance to do so. So, uh, you know, I'm, I've got a whole bunch of clips that I've saved up from throughout the year, some earlier parts of the year, over the summer, everything up till recently, a bunch of videos that either the video itself didn't work out the way I wanted it to, so I didn't ended up not making that video, or stuff that just didn't make it into the final video. So, uh, uh, that's what this one's going to be, and, uh, probably going to squeeze in a couple other, like, clip videos like this as well. I used to do it a lot when I didn't have anything else to do, but I haven't done it for a while, and, uh, since I don't know when I'm going to be able to go back out and catch fish again, that's what I'm going to do here. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, it wrapped around my rod. I can't. <laughs> it's a little better than the last one. Not a monster, but these things are pretty aggressive. And he got lucky, very, very close to the gill plate. Didn't actually get it. Went right through. Nice looking little tiny quad, but these don't get very big anyway. So there's one. Technically my second fish, but the first one for the challenge. Oh, come on. Yes, that's a good one. Pull and drag. Yep, yep, got him. <laughs> On the skinny Sanko. Of course, he's hooked in the bottom lip. There we go. Not a bad fish at all. Solid. Probably about two pounds. On the skinny Zanko. Let me see real quick. Where's my scale? Just over two pounds. That was pretty close. 2.14. I almost couldn't even bring him in. He was pulling the drag. Alright. Solid, nice, solid fish. Good. Not too skinny, probably about 17 inches. Oh, look, I got one. 
Got it on camera too. Got me a shad. <laughs> Whoa. These yellow fin shads too. Thread fin. There we go. It's a little bitty one, but I finally got a hook set. Oh my god, it's a catfish. On a Senko. Wow. It's a little bitty channel, I guess. He's not even hooked. He's actually just tied around the whiskers. That's weird. I've never gotten one on a Senko before. It's like I'm looking at it. The hook's not actually in him. It's just wrapped around him. That's insane. Let's see. Get a Instagram picture. I need to get him to stop moving here. <laughs> well, that didn't work, but he set himself free. <sighs> Let's see here. He bit me. He's biting me kind of hard. That's insane. He's biting pretty hard. That's a little, little channel. Wow, I tried to throw him, but he was biting me, so he didn't want to come off. That's funny. Are you kidding me? Fuck off, dude. Oh my god. It's pulling drag. It's not even, I don't think it's that big, but he's pulling drag. Oh, it is that big. Yep. This is the one that I knew lived in this area. So this is why I keep coming back here. It's only probably about two pounds, but there we go. No, it's probably not even that big. He looked longer when I pulled him up. This is not the big one. This is a big one for this creek, but this is not the big one that I've seen. Probably, it's under two pounds. Probably only a pound and a half.